The Center for Liberty has once again called on the Nigerian Senate to disregard plans to pass the Protection from Internet Falsehood Bill, also known as the Fake News Bill. The group made the call during the launch of its preliminary reports on strategies adopted by other democratic nations to tackle issues relating to the spread of fake news. Center for Liberty believes that the proposed bill should be withdrawn because it is unfit for a democratic country like Nigeria. And while it agrees that fake news is indeed a problem in the country, it equally believes that there are democratic solutions that Nigeria can create or adopt from other democratic nations around the world to tackle the problem of fake news. And what we have tried to do really as earlier read by my colleague is to look at what other democratic countries are doing, you know, uh, to the problem of uh, fake news and uh, its speech in their own societies. And one very key thing that we must flog and flog again is that none of them, none of them is using tyrannical legislations to combat or address the problem of fake news in their countries. Combat fake news by providing accurate, timeless information to the public, because that's the fastest way to combat fake news. It's not by going around harassing people or arresting people for uh, sharing views or comments or reposting views that they have also gotten online. But the greatest way of combating fake news is by providing uh, timeless information. Fake news could lead to problems, violence, and other untoward things. The only reason why we said the two, these two bills should be deleted from the record of the National Assembly is simply because they don't have any substance to offer. What we need is a policy action of the federal government on how to combat fake news.